Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. As this is my last Vlogbrothers video of the decade, I wanted to share with you some of my favorite days of the 2010s, although I am leaving out some personal stuff. Like, the two best days of my decade and also of my life were the two days my kids were born, but I'm not going to talk about that here because you have to draw the privacy line somewhere, and that's where I draw it. But other than that, my very favorite day of the decade was January 15th, 2013, when you and I played a sold-out show at Carnegie Hall while wearing rented tuxedos. That evening of awesome included my favorite band, The Mountain. Mountain Goats and Kimya Dawson and Neil Gaiman and so many friends and Sarah and Catherine and our parents were all with us and then at the end of the night I found out my best friend Chris had flown in to surprise me and I cried with happiness and the whole thing was just magical. Plus Hank I'll probably never again see you in a tuxedo so I'm glad I took the opportunity when it came and the Mountain Goats played one of my favorite songs You Were Cool which includes the lyrics. It's good to be young but let's not kid ourselves it's better to pass on through those years and come out the other side with our hearts still beating having stared down demons and come back breathing Next day, May 30th, 2016, the world's favorite fourth-tier English football team, AFC Wimbledon, who wear DFTBA on their shorts, play at Wembley Stadium in a playoff final for the chance to become the world's favorite third-tier English football team. Everything about that day was perfect, from singing with AFC Wimbledon fans at a pub before the game, to being at Wembley with my dad and Rosiana and my friend Stuart and Wembley Wombly's co-founder Meredith. And then Montserratian international superstar Lyle Taylor scored to put AFC Wimbledon in to the third tier and we partied all night with fans and friends and players and my dad and it was just awesome. A best day that wasn't videotaped, December 29th, 2016. I'd reached a point with Turtles All the Way Down where I just wasn't sure if it was ever going to be a worthwhile or useful thing, and I was staying alone at a small cabin in Michigan with nothing but a loaf of bread, some peanut butter, and an obscene quantity of Diet Dr. Pepper. I'd been awake all night the night before, and I just couldn't find my way through to a better ending for the novel, and so finally, in desperation, I called Sarah, and I was crying, and she was like, it sounds like you just need to do a time jump. And then I hung up and wrote the last 15 pages of Turtles All the Way Down all in one go, and it was roaringly, wondrously joyful to finally see a way through, both for Aza and for me. So thank you, Sarah. Okay, my final best day. Hank, for so long you have supported my writing. Like in 2008 when Paper Towns came out, you and Catherine drove around the country with me in a rented minivan and played libraries and bookstores and anyone else who would have us. And you were always there, singing your guts out every time, transforming yourself into a turtle professor or a sock puppet to make those readings something more than readings, to turn them into events that would matter to people. And then on September 25th, 2018, your brilliant first novel, An Absolutely Remarkable Thing, was published, and I finally got to support you a little bit at the launch event at Town Hall in New York City. To see you surrounded by copies of your book was one of the great joys of my life. So I hope you'll share some of your best memories of the decade in the comment section below. I kind of need that positivity, and I feel like the rest of the world might too. But for me, while well, those are some of the days that stand out, a lot of my favorite moments in the decade were little moments. Going to a Joan Mitchell show with Sarah, Rosiana and I sprawled out across a lounge at VidCon, exhausted and exhilarated, Hank and I eating hamburgers in the hot Southern California day, seeing the petty bond spiral for the first time and being stopped dead by it, my mom showing me her painting of the lazy boy where I've written all my books, filming Crash Course with Stan, wasting card space because we couldn't stop laughing at each other's jokes. It's good to be young, but let's not kid ourselves. Here's to the next 10 years. Hank, I'll see you on Friday.